Now after you get a new VPS set up uh, with new IPs, as you set up IP rotation, um, all of that, and you're ready to get going with your uh, sending out your leads, the, the main thing you need to do now is to warm up your IPs slowly and get a good reputation. Um, and then once you actually get your good reputation, you can start to send out a lot more uh, emails per day, like in the thousands and tens of thousands. So um, if you head back to my training page and go down through the, uh, the video, you should have already watched this one, warming up your IPs. Um, now this is a good idea, warming up your IPs this way, but there's a little bit of extra what we can add to that as well. So um, if you check out this website here, um, put in your IP address and check to see what your reputation is. And I can see here that with my new IPs, I'm suspicious. And the reason is because I've only recently started sending emails. So I have an unknown reputation. Now this is how you end up getting on blacklists. And the thing is, when you get on a blacklist, it's not the end of the world. Uh, a lot of them um, will take you off the list after 30 days if you don't sort of get on their radar again in that 30 day period. Um, and if you do, then it might be 60 days before you get off that blacklist. So what you can do is um, follow the notes in this video. It shows you how to um, warm up your IP slowly. And you can do that just by starting off with maybe 20 or 30 emails in your first day and then increasing at 50, 70, 100, 150, 200. 300, 400, 500, and you keep changing it every couple of days like that. And the other thing as well that I didn't cover in previous training is um, you can actually modify the send rate in the back end of your mail list. So I'm just gonna head over to my um, back end. This is, the, um, this is the new one I've set up, which I haven't actually added all of my subscribers yet just enough to sort of get me started. And this um, this domain and some IP, a couple of my IP addresses are actually on a couple of blacklists. And I'm not too worried about that, I'm just going to start the whole warming up process again from scratch. Now one thing uh, that you can do is head over to, uh, sorry, head over to servers, delivery servers. Just click on your delivery server here and this is the one I wanted to look at. So this is microseconds. And what it, what it tells us to do is to pause in between each. So it, here we're sending one message at a time. And here we are pausing for, uh, this is actually 60 seconds. So one minute before uh, sending out the next email. And the easiest way to do this is to put in how many seconds you want to pause for and then just add um, six of zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that'll be 60 seconds. And later on, we will actually reduce that a little bit as well. So on this server, I've got, um, I'm rotating four IPs. We automatically rotate every 200 emails to a new IP. So what I've done is set it up so that four lots of 200 is 800, so I'm only doing 800 per hour. Uh, so if I want to send out you know, a thousand emails or two thousand, it means that it'll go into the second hour of sending. It'll send a few in the first hour and then a few in the second hour. We don't have to worry about that. It will do the whole thing automatically. Um, and now in the video that I mentioned here, in this one, warming up your IPs, they suggested to send out um, a small amount first, but then pause for 60 seconds or one minute, just send one email every minute. So this is how you do it. So you just put in here 60 and then put uh, six zeros at the end and hit save. Um, now also you can increase your hourly quota as well um, a little bit later on, but it's a good idea to keep it low for the moment. Um, 800 is even pretty high, it doesn't even need to be that much. You could be, you know, like 100 per hour or 200 per hour and then go in every day or two and then change it. So what we'll do after a while is once we get up to the stage where we're sending 
and maybe three or four thousand emails each day, we can go in and cut this and make that uh, send one every 30 seconds and then we make it every 10 seconds and then after um, a while, once we get a good reputation, we can change that to zero. So we don't have any delays on that at all. Uh, so this is just one thing I wanted to show you. It's a great way to uh, slowly send your emails out. It means that, uh, you know, to send out, uh, what, 60 emails, it's going to take an hour, basically, to do that at this rate. Uh, but if we do this every day, we're sending it slowly to our list and then warming up slowly, we'll eventually end up with a good reputation.